Pisces, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for August 2018. And Pisces, before we jump in, got an awesome opportunity for you to do some astrology learning. I've got um, specials on my Astrology 101 and 102 classes, and I did this whole live video about it, so I hope you'll check it out so you know the who's and why's and what's of why it's going down the way that it is. But definitely get signed up um, at the registration link down below, or come visit me at stormygrace.com. Got questions, you can leave them down below here as well, okay? All right, Pisces, so this month we're coming into the month in still a very retrograde kind of energy, so not a lot of moving forward. Now, you are a natural um, 12th house between the worlds, hidden information kind of sign. And I do feel like this month, because we've had all of this retrograde stuff and it comes forward, there's still a lot that you may be seeing in terms of past beliefs, past attachments, past behaviors, and things like that, that are you're seeing need to fall away from you because they're not healthy, they don't work, they just don't fit the vibe of where you're going. So I think the retrograde time for you hopefully has actually been very good and very cleansing. Certainly by the time we get to the end of the month and have a full moon happening in your sign, I think there's really this very nice emptying and release that gets to happen before we have forward motion to really move forward in September. So let's jump in here and let's talk about this. Now, right at the beginning of the month here on the 6th, we've got Venus coming into the sign of Libra. Now, this will be lighting up and exposing your 8th house. And this is a very vulnerable place. Venus here helps make this a little bit more harmonious. She brings a little bit of soft to everything that's going on here. So your intimate relationships. I think one thing that you have definitely had an opportunity to reevaluate is the intimacy in your life with people. Like how are you connecting? How are you not connecting? What needs to change? So this could also be an energy that's making this soft as the discoveries are happening. Now the other thing I think about is that Venus loves money too. So this is your eighth house. You could have money, finances, things like that coming towards you that you're not necessarily working to get the money, you know, a loan, a grant, maybe financial aid from school. Um, maybe you are having a little bit more of a connection with another person, and this is actually just giving this a lot of blessing. This is a beautiful, beautiful energy. But I also know that you get a little bit of a self-esteem boost happening here because you may feel better about some of the things you've been digging up and dredging up from your core because you're ready to move forward a lot differently, a lot lighter, right? Now, on the seventh of the month, Uranus is going to go retrograde in the sign of Taurus. Now, this will light up your third house. So Uranus, when he goes retrograde, one of the things that he does really well is, of course, he's retrograde, so he stops creating this external instability in our world, right? And instead, he flips that inside, so he starts tearing down the barriers and structures and ideas that you had internally so that you can accept something else. Now, for you, the third house space, this is the house, is our first mental house, our first mental set of capacity that we have. So he's tearing down some old ideas, old thinking, old communication, old beliefs. I mean, even maybe even helping you break through some things that you're bringing through from a past lifetime, from childhood, or things that you've been holding on to. He's going to create the space where you have the motivation internally to break those things down and it changes your external world going forward. So really a beautiful energy, not always super comfortable, because Uranus is not always super comfortable, but he does get you real different real fast. On the 11th, we've got the new moon partial solar eclipse happening in Leo in your sixth house. Now, what we've also got going on here is we've got Mercury retrograde here in this sixth house as well. So now this solar eclipse is first of all the new moon for the month, right? So this is where we're planting these seeds of intention, right? We're beginning something new here. We are going to move it forward over the next six months because it's a solar eclipse and see what unfolds here. And honestly, I have to tell you, coming into the month with all this retrograde energy and one of them being Mars is still in retrograde and being in retrograde in your 12th house. And then we've got these energies up here with Mercury retrograde in your sixth house. This is that mind, body, spirit axis, right? It's so it's axis, excuse me. It's very points very much so Pisces to you this month to look at your patterns, your routines. What does your daily routine look like? 
Also, because the 12th house is involved, I would ask you if to look in the places that you don't want to look. Is there something you're hiding from? Is there something you are hiding that needs to come out because your secrets will keep you sick, right? Now, the thing about bringing these things out when we're in the retrograde energy and having to look at them and having to go, what am I doing? How is the mind-body-spirit connection happening for me right now? And the other part of it, Pisces, is, is it real? Are you being honest with your health, your wellness? your mental and emotional well-being right this is going to be stuff that you look at but by doing that and going through the past you get to let go of some of these things I'm telling you I feel like Pisces so many of you guys are going to be letting go of things that are surrounding childhood or parents or things like that just just really foundational connections you may be shedding them now where does the solar eclipse get juicy for you is that because that is still this new beginning energy over the next six months i feel like the health the wellness the daily routines the service the job situation um, maybe even things with your connection to pets gets the opportunity to flourish it gets to turn into opportunities for you to move things forward that said this will be great too if you have been unhappy with your job or your work or something with a coworker. This may bring some resolution to it as we get towards the end of the month as well. So be mindful of that, okay? Now, like I said, um, as we're coming into the month, Mars is in retrograde still. It's in Aquarius back there in the 12th house, but he's going to creep back up there into Capricorn into the 11th house. So you may be looking back over things in your social connections. You may be going, why am I associated here? What's my desire to be friends with these people, right? All of these questions of social things, where am I in the socials? You know, are my social profiles updated? So when it's time for an employer to look me up or somebody to look me up I can say this is where I'm at Pisces do you have your work online right do you do something freelance can we find it online whatever it is this energy is pushing you back but you may not have the energy to push something new forward you might just be gathering information about what needs to shift certainly if you've had a fallout with a friend I think that that will come back in as well um, and be something for you to work on and reconsider now on the 19th mercury comes direct and this is a much better time to try and handle and sort out things because now Mercury's forward. Our communication energy is forward. Our mental energy is forward. So in your patterns, your routines, anything you're trying to put something new in place and break free from another thing, you have forward motion. You've got good energy and good juju to help you along the way to include getting a new job if that's something that you're wanting to do. Now on the 23rd, the sun's going to enter into Virgo, your seventh energy. So relationships will have light, heat, vitality, essence added to them. And I think we see some relationships becoming important in your life again. Maybe even a new relationship working its way in there. So that's kind of exciting if you're looking for that. And if you are in a committed relationship, which could also be a business relationship, I think that this sheds some good vitality here where it's almost like, oh, we needed this. We needed this, right? Like we needed this light. We needed this heat. We needed some um to get in here now when we get to the 26th we've got the full moon happening in your sign and it is just like a personal revelation for you it really is I feel like this place where it goes the last like eight weeks just kind of flood out and you realize what has to go and I think it's almost revitalizing for you truly now at the full moon we say that something has to be ended acknowledged or adjusted so whatever it is at some point in the most spiritual place within you i think you're gonna look around and go it's okay to be okay it's okay to put this behavior down it's okay to put this belief down it's okay to get and to be different it's just such an energy of faith i think that surrounds this for me that it's very spiritually nourishing as well so look forward to these things look forward to a little bit of release as we get towards the end of the month okay now on the 27th we've got mars turning direct here in capricorn which will be that 11th house space which is again the friends so now you've got action and energy to get back out there in the friend zone get back out there in your groups your associations you know pisces were you really a part of run in with a group for a time and it was very good for you and then you just stopped maybe it's time to get back on board with that right get back involved in whatever that is clean up with a friend get those socials whatever it is mars will be forward hallelujah and we can have some mojo back some passion and fire and movement back to move things forward which is exactly what we need getting ready for september 
So this month, Pisces, make sure you're looking over and being honest about what you're seeing happening in your life and your particular patterns and belief patterns as well. Look over those things because the health and that mind, body, spirit place has got to be in alignment and we've got to not be delusional about it. We've got to come to a place of honesty. That's what the retrograde energy is doing for each and every single one of us is making us honest humans. <laughs> All right, Pisces, I love you guys so much. I look forward to seeing what's happening for you during your month. I hope to see you in the astrology classes kicking off in September. So click in the description box down below to get registered. There's only space for 25 people, okay? I love you guys so much. I'll see you next month. Bye.